This video is brought to you by Make It Simple TT. Every class is structured to run on a yearly cycle from June to May. This cycle covers the whole syllabus in 12 months with one two-hour session per week, along with assignments that are given weekly. Every class is recorded so students can always go over the work and recap notes in case they miss a class. To register, head over to our website at makeitsimplett.com forward slash register or you can WhatsApp 1-868-308-8799. Christopher is contemplating using, a, using cloud based storage. To assist Christopher, uh, check the check the um, check the black market scanner. Boy, watch it. The, 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 the paper was literally bent. You can see it was bent. <laughs> and it gets scanned. Um, Christopher is contemplating using cloud-based storage to assist Christopher with his decision making. Complete column two of the table below by stating true or false for each of the statements about cloud storage. Come on, man. Oh God, this is real easy. After all, after all that work that you prepare for and all the things that you learn. You got true and false table boy. Primary school boy. Oh, primary school. Have to be. I really. I mean, I'm happy that the paper was easy. But. I pulled aside and I, I literally a tear came to my eye. It did. This true and false kind of. Anyhow, it's better you overreact than underreact for, for a test, right? It's better you overprepare than underprepare. Always remember that. It don't matter how easy it come. Just remember that you were prepared. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. Yeah, that, that's, that's like, that's like. Right, users can access their data whether they have access to the internet or not. That is false, definitely. Okay. Data is stored in multiple computers all over the world. That is true because servers are all over the world. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Gmail all use cloud based storage. That is true. Users know exactly where their data is stored. That is false. You don't know which server your, your data is on. That could be in Denmark if for all you know. The cloud is unlimited and pow a powerful remote network for interconnected computers. Unlimited? Nope. A cloud is not unlimited. It is limited. That's false. Um, cloud based storage providers give free storage up to a certain limit. That is true. Oh, this, um, how this is for marks also? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, you're answering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're answering 6 things when you get 4 marks. Awesome. I don't know. Yeah, but that means you have to choose two answers to give one mark for. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, they want to kill me here tonight. I want everybody to know that they want to kill me here tonight. They do not want me out here. They do. What is this? Okay. Number part B. Outline the main difference between system software and application software. All right. So system software, software runs in the background and ensures uh, computer works properly. Something like that. All right. So we go over that. Application software runs in the foreground and the users interact with it most. All right, so basically application software is used by users and um, yeah, yeah, that's basically where you had to put. See, one example of a hardware device with a user interface. Yeah, this is, this is a hardware interface, kind of hardware device will be a touch screen. I think I told you all about this. Hardware interface devices will be touchscreen or specialized keyboards. You could put a, um, a braille keyboard. Any one of those two, those are usually like your go-to answers on Mac. Mm -hmm. What basic tasks are carried out by the hardware components if it of a computer system? State the name. Say the name given to the sequence of events that represents those tasks. <laughs> you know, I just show for this is now. Like four basic um four basic tasks are carried out by the hardware components. State the name given to this sequence. The name given to the sequence is input, process, storage, output. But some, some textbook have IPOS. This is not a name, that's an acronym. Up to now, I don't know what a name is for input, process, output, storage. That is, what is it called? Uh, um, input, process, output, storage. Input, process, output, storage. Information processing. I don't know if they want to do information processing. It could be that, that, that they're trying to trick you and get it to write that. It could be. But I... I don't know, input, uh, I can't say. Yeah, okay. Well, I would write input process storage output, and I would also write IPOS, and I would write input information processing too. So you can't you can, you can step to me and tell me that I get it wrong, because I write in anything, anything. Um, you know what? I don't know what name to put it on. Anyway, classify each of the following data entry devices, either a manual data entry or direct data entry. This is a question. Wow, a mouse is direct, kind of weird. Optical character reader. This is direct also. A light pen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is manual data entry or direct data entry? All of these things, they are all automatic. A mouse have a light that will be able to pick up the movements. Optical character readers read it automatically. Because direct means it goes directly into the computer. A light pen, it goes directly into the computer too. A sensor goes directly into the computer too. The only time manual data entry is when you type on a keyboard, basically. So, yeah. We'll talk about the paper tree just now because I hear some real horror stories about our paper tree. So, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Okay, a mouse, right? When you use data entry and when you do data entry on a mouse, 
you have to click and choose certain things all right so mouse will be manual based on what it's saying because data entry devices that means you have somebody has to operate it to get it to, to, to input so the mouse would be manual because you have to manually click and you have to manually get it there yeah optical character reader is direct because you don't know human has to get any little there light pen light pen would be manual too based on how they phrase the question yeah so light pen somebody has to physically hold the light pen and choose it out a sensor you don't have to physically use it nice good sir. so yeah right okay it makes sense now it makes sense after reading it over twice i kind of understand remember i didn't look at this paper at all so i'm doing it blind i've never seen it so i'm doing it as if i were a student and how i would process it as it goes along i would answer the question and then say nah that probably have probably a better answer right so so mouse you manually have to click and choose optical character reader that just going and scan and pick it up you know no human involved light pen a human needs to move the light pen sensor no um no human involved yeah. two marks how big i know watching the, how the marking scheme in this paper so mess like it have a it have two tables for with six things you had to put in it for four marks then it have a a a a a, a party where you had to write out four things for two marks so what they given half marks what you're going to do if somebody get three of them correct you can't you don't have any half marks so you can't give 1.5 so if i get three of them correct you're going to round it down to, to one oh you see the, oh you see that kind of no you see that kind of madness eh? no think about it think about it think about it really suppose i get this one correct this one wrong this one correct and that one correct how much marks again one mark or two marks but i get i get it incorrect so basically you're trying to manufacture a half mark i nah boy that's not cool though that's not cool that's not cool but nonetheless let me go ahead. Hey, hey, look it have color on the, on the paper yes all of the paper coming in color they finally get a color printer in txe there is a color printer now look 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 let us celebrate y'all and the picture the picture ain't looking too bad you know picture and color and thing look what don't you put your in color all your thing in red and and, and thing i i must say somebody somebody put ink in the printer boy somebody put ink in the printer all the years all they complaining but the pictures must be black and white and you can't understand anything because all they're seeing is dark the cxc printer man was like hey that's all i needed that's all i needed for him to do that and it it became personal with me he went by dr wesley and he said dr wesley i don't care what you do I want a budget to print the IT paper in color and give me any money to do it or else I'm done. And Dr. Wesley say, pay less. Here's your money. None. All right, so let you go. Using a word processor, a graphic artist designed the following flyer to email to potential clients. He, she also plans to distribute hard copies for advertisement purposes. Um, advertisement purposes. So tongue was this for rent is in red. They have this thing here. This is definitely looking like it's centered. They have a table that's centered also. They have text in italics. Look, hey, all the hyperlink in blue too. The hyperlink is in blue too. I done. It's too much. It's too much. You know how much time they bring exams and the hyperlink in black and students can't tell the difference if it's underlined or if it's a hyperlink. I, I feel it. I feel it like, you know, emotional. Like, look, they did it. All right, let me answer the question now. Say the name of the feature used to create a connection between the flyer and the company's website. The flyer, the flyer and the company's website, it has called a hyperlink. As key. The connection between the flyer and the company's website is to be tested before the flyer is distributed. State the reason for having to do this test. One mark, right? And they gave the whole boatload of lines to write on. Anyhow. The reason for Nudit is to make sure people can access the website properly when they click. Only I fight to fill up two lines there. I fight to fill up two lines. RL, RL tried to fill up two lines there, but they gave me four lines to fill up for one mark. But I, I, yeah, to make sure it works, to make sure it's functional, yeah, whatever you want to say. Identify two text formatting features using the design of the first column on flyer patient. So the first column is this column here. So we want to look at this. Two text formatting features. One is color. In red and text formatting features also font size because this font bigger than the other yeah so font color and font size we will take that but remember it's text formatting eh? so you had to talk about how to format the text so font color and font size you can't use center and whatnot because wait. oh wait it's text formatting they didn't say character formatting my bad my bad sorry character formatting would be color and font size text formatting you know, I'm not too sure, you know. If they say text formatting, they could they, you could use the center also. Alright, so I think they'll take all of them. They'll take all of them. Font color, font size, and center. Yeah, we'll take all of them. The first they said the first column, so you can't say justification because nothing is justified inside here. 
um, there's no other text format in that they put inside. You can clearly see that this is center because it kind of build up, builds on the center. And font color and font size. Table is not really text formatting. Table will be like page formatting. But font color, font size, center. Any one of those three should be cool. You see superscript. Eh eh. Yeah, that's true. No. There's no superscript, you know. This is, um, yeah, that's superscript. You are correct. Well done, person. Superscript is correct. I didn't even notice that. But they clearly have a superscript here where they have feet squared here. Um... You could try line spacing and say line spacing, huh? Because your line spacing is looking like it's 1.0, so you might be able to... Line spacing is not a, not a go-to answer, but I, I feel line spacing will be um, acceptable here. I feel so. Line too short. Um, now you can't use autofill and thing inside it. No. Identify two page formatting features using the design of the flyer. Well, definitely they have columns, because you have one column here and then you have a next column here. So you could put in columns, um, columns, and um, you, you'll be able to get table as page formatting. And it looks like it's in, um, what is called this thing, landscape here. Yeah. Columns, landscape. I don't know if you'll get table. I don't know if you get the table would be, because table looks like it could be um, text formatting. You might get table inside here too. You might not be sure. So, columns, landscape. Well, if you say orientation, yeah, that'll be good too. If you say landscape orientation, maybe. margin. I don't know how you know, but I don't know if you could look at that and determine if the margins change, you know. It'll be real hard to determine if the margins change, you know. Yeah, right? But for page formatting, you can't put things like center and align right and align left. Those are text formatting features. Those are things that you do to the text. The page itself, you could set up the you could set up the page to have columns, you could set it up to be landscape. Um the size of the page, boy. Right? I don't know how you know the size of the page. Because you clearly don't know the size of the page. And I if I was marking, I would not accept size of the page because just from this alone you can't determine what the size of the page is. If it's eight and a half by eleven or eight and a half by fourteen. I can't say that. And nothing here is justified because justification means that you have everything in a straight line on the other side. But this you could clearly see this jagged here. Because that jagged there. That is not justified. So yeah, stick with columns and landscape orientation. That's how you can get it. You could use line spacing, but line spacing is not page formatting. Line spacing would be would fall under text formatting more than them. Yeah. So yeah. Um, for the people who um who are having problems because they watching it and they feeling like they're losing too much marks and it causing anxiety, um, just press Alt and F4, or you'll you'll have a little um, you'll have a little a little quick thing on top where you can click stop and you could stop it if you if you are experiencing anxiety because you realize that you may be losing mark it's okay i'm not here i'm not here to cause anxiety for you if 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 that's what you feel because i just work in it out because i'm curious about it and i want to give people a chance to see the answer okay um what was the next one say page break somebody said page break insertion of picture hmm um page break might work you know page break could work yeah page, um, page break could work i could see page break being answered as that as um accepted left alignment yeah you could get left alignment you could get left alignment left alignment however is left alignment could be text formatting more than page formatting yeah page formatting is very specific so if you're using left alignment that'll be text but this this was this was only for the first column so you can't say left alignment because left alignment will be um text formatting Alright, good. Our graphic artists would like to amend the word document he created in order to produce a new flyer, but would like to still keep a copy of the original document. Describe how we could create an updated document. What kind of stupid question is this, boy? Describe how we could create the updated document. File, save as, and then save with a new name. They're probably looking for save as, and then for the new name i i'm not too sure if they're really just trying to like create a way for people to, to pass or something what what you getting two marks for that when it have a whole table that people work hard to fill out before for six marks and you you decide to get two marks for this and four marks for the table i i don't know after they impress me so much with the color and i really like yes they finally put a color that is the question you go ask, boy. That is the question you go ask. Name one word processing feature that would allow you to protect your document while you are working on it, and one feature that would protect the final document. This is our next problem because this here assumes that you're using Microsoft Word. What if you're using Google Docs? And what if you're using Open Office? If you're using Google Docs, there's no way that you're going to be like, well, to protect your document while you're working on it. What? Don't share it with people and put, protect it, the final document. You want to save it as a PDF? Then it has no feature like that inside um, in, in Google Docs. And Open Office has totally different things. So I really feel in it for the children who use the online um, word processors like Google Docs and whatnot. And 
these kind of questions come in and they specifically ask me about Microsoft Word. I find that I find that well unfair. And anyhow, to protect the document while you're working on it would be save or auto save. So when you auto save the um the document will be good. And um one feature that could protect the document is pass password protected. Um I think the actual word is password pass no um protect the document protecting yeah yeah so password protect the document anyhow if you have password protect i can't see them giving it giving it wrong that wouldn't be a big issue but there is a there is an actual thing called protect document protection all right that was question two question this video is brought to you by make it simple tt our cape classes run on an eighth month cycle and covers everything in the cape it and computer science syllabus with 10 years of past paper practice included students get assignments topically and reports are emailed to parents and guardians monthly or bi-monthly to register, head over to our website at makeitsimplett.com forward slash register or you can WhatsApp 1-868-308-8799.